The SOFIA trial is testing a very interesting antibody. We've known for many years that uh, antibodies to HER2, particularly trastuzumab, works not only through inhibiting the HER2 oncogene, which is a growth factor, but also by inducing immunity. The antibody itself, uh, the FC portion of the antibody can activate the immune system. We also know that certain individuals inherit a, a low affinity version of the receptor that binds the FC portion of the antibody. And these uh, individuals have a lower response to numerous therapeutic antibodies, such as trastuzumab and also rituximab and cetuximab. So margituximab is an antibody that's been engineered to have a higher affinity for the FC receptor. And patients were tested in later lines of therapy and randomized to getting either trastuzumab with one of four chemotherapies of physician choice or margituximab with chemotherapy. And the study was a positive study in terms of progression-free survival, but it was only about a one-month difference. And so uh, the benefit is, is small, but it is statistically significant. Uh, it could be that in uh, patients that maybe didn't have as high risk baseline features and had a longer progression-free survival that the difference might have been bigger. So it's hard to know if, if this is uh, going to be an approvable difference. Uh, I think it's still an important drug. It technically, uh, technologically very interesting that, that it, it's an engineered antibody. And, and I think that uh, uh, other trials, either in earlier lines of therapy or in other combinations with other biologic agents like uh, tyrosine kinase inhibitors, are certainly going to be warranted in the future.